Hey guys, Craig Carone here from CraigCarone.com. Today I just want to share a quick little tips guide, I guess, to help you guys out. Um, a lot of times people get infected with malware on their websites, so I want to kind of just go over some tips with you guys to help prevent that from happening and maybe to help you guys clean out your, your websites. A lot of times you don't even know that you have malware. So there's two places that you can do this. First off is I would suggest that you get a Webmaster Tools account. Um, and hook up your website in Webmaster Tools. Just, you know, add the website and they'll, you know, you can find out from there if you have any vulnerabilities or if you have any malware. Um, sometimes things um, in Google Webmaster, sometimes the malware doesn't show up. Um, you know, it'll say, like, nothing found. Um, and I found that to be an issue also with Webmaster Tools. It's, you know, hackers get sneaky and they get around different things. So um, what I do is I use a site called security.net. It's S-U-C-U-R-I dot net. And you can actually buy their software for $189 for the year. And they have, you know, up to five websites. Um, and it'll clean up, you know, everything for you. Um, if you can't afford that, obviously, um, whatever hosting company that you're using, you can actually just send them a support ticket usually. Um, like, for instance, HostGator. Uh, you can send them a support ticket, say, hey, I have malware on my web websites and I'd like them removed. And within about 24 hours, they will usually remove your malware for you. But to prevent this from happening, you know, obviously you don't want to have to keep contacting them to do this for you. I would suggest buying some type of software to do it for you. All right. Um, if you go on to security.net, you can just type in your website and hit scan. It'll scan your website. Um, a lot of times it's cached, so if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can hit the rescan. It'll give you a more up to date. Um, if your website is has malware, it will tell you. It'll be red. Um, the logo up here will be red, and you'll have you know a bunch of check marks telling you what's wrong. As you can see, this is verified clean, and it'll let you know you know that there's nothing on there. All right. So this is what you want it to look like. All right. So let's move on, guys. All right, so the first tip is you want to ensure that all database configurations for your account are using a custom generator user and password combination and that this information is not stored in plain text, if at all possible. So if you're using databases, um, if you're using databases on your website, um, I would make sure that you use the password generator, okay? Don't just come up with one. All right, and it'll look something like this. Okay, so here's the back office. Uh, this is the databases that I have, and you can actually generate, uh, you know, use a generated password here. Okay, so use this, guys. Um, you know, the generated password. Don't just come up with one. Um, a lot of times, it's easier for uh, a hacker to get into your system if you're using, you know, your own because. A lot of times people use like, you know, words like, you know, people's names, you know, familiar words. And that's how easy it is for a hacker to get in um, because they're scanning, you know, their these word list bases. Okay. They're databases with just passwords with different names, you know, people's names or, you know, um, just different things people use. You know what I mean? All right. Next thing is, do not ever use your cPanel username and password to access your databases. Okay, it's an extreme security risk. So if you're using the same username and password for your databases that you are for your cPanel to log in, change them as soon as possible. Okay, because it is a security risk. If they can get into your, you know, cPanel, they're going to get into your database as well. Number three, ensure that all scripts such as WordPress, Joomla, Dr uh, Drupal, um, and anything like that, you know, your plugins, modules, components, make sure that they're updated to the most recent released version um, as new versions are released primarily to address known security vulnerabilities in these scripts. So if you have, you know, plugins, on, if you're using WordPress or anything like that, um, and you have plugins, you know, make sure that you're updating your WordPress, make sure that your plugins are constantly updated and your modules or whatever components, make sure everything is updated, okay? Because it does leave uh, an open door for hackers to get in. So make sure everything's updated. And as you can see right here, um, you'll look at my plugins, you'll see that all my plugins are up to date, my dashboard's up to date, everything's up to date here, okay? 
Okay, number four, change the permissions for all configuration files such as wp-config.php or configuration.php. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you want to set it to about 600 or 400, um, either read only for the user only or read and write for the user only. That way the file is only readable and editable for the user. Okay, This will also stop hackers from coming in as well. Um, if you have your permission set at like 777 or 666 or whatever, it's going to be easy for a hacker to get in. So make sure that you set all your configuration files and things like that um, at 400. Okay, or even 444 is what I set it. You know what I set it to. Okay, so as you can see, I've got mine here. It's set at 444. Okay, and it's only set at read only. So you want to make sure that you keep it at that at least okay and if you look at it this is from in WordPress so it'll be like wp-config.php um, if it's a regular website it should just say config.php or something like that okay and a lot of times HTML sites don't even have um, it doesn't really have uh, a whole lot so it's like you don't have to go through all these files to get to it so you should see it right in the main directory all right number five you also want to disable any and all plugins that you're not using and or are not critical to your site. Um, plugins that you're not using can lead to compromises later um, as they are likely to be forgotten and, and not updated and can also lead to resource issues with your site as well. Um, if you're not using plugins in your WordPress um, or whatever, whatever you're using, make sure to just delete the plugin. That's the easiest way to do it. Keep those plugins, delete, just delete them. Um, if you have anything that you're not using, um, and like I said, make sure that you keep every all your plugins updated, um, just because it's easy for hackers to get in. Number six, if you have an, an images directory, um, I'm going to give you guys a code that you can use. Um, basically, there's a file called at uh, ht access, okay, um, and this is this code's going to actually help prevent the execution of scripts in that directory. Um, it'll help prevent from them using mail, you know, adding malware and stuff like that to this um, to your server. Okay, and this is what it would look like. Um, this is basically the editable um, HT access file, and you can see at the top there's the code there, and you can just copy, you know, write down the code right there. Um, pretty easy. So that's all you really need to do. Just add that. Okay. All right, number seven, change your passwords frequently to avoid hackers from guessing your passwords. Um, guys, you know, uh, as I've been on the Internet, I've seen a lot of different softwares out there. Um, hackers have softwares that crack passwords pretty easily. Um, and what they do is they just run these, they run these what you call crackers, and they have like a list of passwords, okay? And a lot of times people use like really easy, easy passwords such as, you know, names or, and they might use little characters at the end. Um, but these are the things is that, you know, these hackers have lists. I mean, I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of different passwords um, that can be easily guessed. So what they do is they throw these passwords in the software. The password, you know, the software generates all these different passwords to see which one matches on your server. And if they have access to your server, they, that software can access your server. Um, it's going to scan through all those different passwords and find matches. Okay, and if you have malware, obviously, already it's going to be easier. But um, this is just an easy way for them to get your passwords. So, like I said, change them all the time. Use the password generator to do it. Um, you know, don't use the normal way of doing it. Just putting in like maybe your sister's name. You know, with a couple numbers at the end. You know, those don't work. Okay. Also, do not store your passwords or admin logins on your computer. Make sure you write everything down and put them in a safe place. Don't put it on your computer because if you have malware, obviously it's going to you know, cause your computer to have problems too. Um, there's tracking devices. There's tracking things that people, you know, hackers use. There's also things called key loggers, which key logs your computer, and it pretty much gives them all the information on your computer, passwords, logins, things like that. So make sure that you don't put any of that stuff on your computer. Make sure you write it down, put it in a notepad, and put it in a safe place. All right, guys, that's going to be it today. Um, I hope this was very helpful for you, um, and I hope that all these tips will help you, you know, um, it will prevent you guys from getting malware 
always make sure to check your sites at least a couple, every couple weeks or at least every week to check to make sure that you don't have malware. If you're using software like security.net, you won't have too much of a problem because the, the software kind of does everything for you without you even knowing it. Okay. Thank you guys. This is Craig Crone from CraigCrone.com and we will catch you later.